Hey guys, it's me, the CNL Simmer, and welcome back to my channel. If you are a regular, I welcome you back. If you are new, I welcome you and hope that you find something to your liking here and you'll stay a while and come back and maybe even hit that subscribe button and tell your friends. We are back with uh, Sims 4, Generation 3 of our 100 Baby Challenge. If you missed the last episode, let me just catch you up a little bit. She is done with her aspiration and she's an A student. Done with aspiration and an A student. Do we have cake? We do. Let's age up these kiddos. She wants to take a dog for a walk, be friendly with animals 30 times, and train pets for three hours. We need to get a dog. I was not planning. When you move out, your dog's going with you, girl. All right, let's see what your brother's up to. Make a wish. Zen Guru. And some randomized traits. Hostile. Paranoid. My goodness. Her favorite color is red. And these are the outfits that she has. Her brother Dominique's favorite color is purple. And here are his outfits. Hey, Erica. Friendly introduction. You want to be my girlfriend? It's gonna happen. First kiss. Asked to be girlfriend. Okay, now we have to go on a date. Okay, we are messing around. Alright, let's end this date and uh, send her home. Alright, let's look at the little ones. Skills are fine. They're both ready to be aged up. Let's do that. Let's bring them in for a makeover, shall we? I randomly chose a number from 1 to 11. She likes the color blue. Forest's color is yellow. And here are Forest's outfits. Who are we going to have another baby with? Looks like Kaden. Try for baby with Kaden. She's pregnant. You're an A student. Guess what time it is? Time to go live with dad. There he is. You can have Akeem and Bo. All right. We have added in an extra bathroom. I think that will help. Okay. Children, you need to deal with dogs. You know what? Let's go Let's adopt a dog. Household adopt a dog. Bubblegum. I feel like she'd want a dog named bubblegum. Yolanda's in labor. All right, Yolanda, have the baby. Gerard Widjou McKinley. And another boy. This one is an H. Houston Widjou McKinley. G can now publish her books. Sell the publisher, book G. Send to the Literary Guild, book H. And then we can start book I. And now that we're all caught up, let's go on to this week's episode. We have Mom, Yolanda, she's Generation 3. Akeem and Bo were moved out last episode. We have Karina and Dominic, which should be out very soon. We have Emery and Forrest, and then the babies, Gerard and Houston. Karina is the reason that we have Bubblegum, and he will move out with her. She's a B student. He is also a B student. So our job is to get them to A students today. And then we'll see how they're doing on their aspiration. She's got to do a, take the dog on a walk, be friendly 30 times, and train pets for three hours. And his aspiration is a single level. So we are have said that he has done one out of the four. So he is fine. We don't really need to do any more with him. Uh, Mom, what are you doing? You're flirty. I'm sorry, you're flirty. Go to the bathroom, please. Are you pregnant again? New baby. Okay, you're not pregnant again. Mom, I would like for you to cook some breakfast, some fruit and yogurt parfait, please. Forrest is up and having something to eat. The dog is waking people up. Lecture about barking. He's run off, so she's not going to do it. All right, go get some food. We, according to my notes, can age up the babies Sunday. So we just had them. She is angry. 
from being splashed by the dog. Well, it's your dog. You wanted it. Lecture about playing in puddles. Nope, we'll go into school instead. Send all students alone. Okay, they are all going to actively participate. Mom is home with the children. Do a super efficient baby care on this one. And what are you working on? You are writing, oh yes, books, baby books. I need to give you a bath. You are nasty. And then I'm going to repair the sink. Resume writing book I. I'm going to have her go take a nap. Kids are home. B student. Darn it. Means they have to stick around till Monday. You're an A student. You're a B student. All right, well, let's work on your aspiration. One of the things you want to do is take the dog on a walk. Go for a short walk. It is love day. I want mom to go on a date. All right, your aspiration is good. I would like to see about a part-time job. Is that a thing kids can do? Neighborhood jobs. Go do some yard work for someone. Mom, get up and do a super efficient baby care. Serve chicken stir fry. After you eat, you can go to bed. We didn't do love day. What? I feel bad, but whatever. Love day was awful, but Bubble Gum has learned to pee outside. That's wonderful. All right, everybody's waking up at six o'clock. Great. Uh, where's the dog? Wake up the dog. And we're going to train the dog to sit. Bubblegum has learned how to sit. So she'll have some lunch. And then we will lecture about barking. He's learned not to bark at Sims. Good dog. Let us train you to lie down. Super efficient baby care. Resume writing. And then why don't you practice yoga? Thought you did that. Why don't you do some lawn mowing? She finished her book. We'll have her start book J. All right, where's the dog? Bubblegum. Go on a short walk with Bubblegum, please. So he's doing his job. There we go. He did it. Oh, Mom, there's more? Shoot. Like three frogs, have earned 500, take up a one-time job in the neighborhood. We can do that again. Go to the bathroom, and then we'll do a part-time job again. Uh, let's do pet sitter. Try that one. Got some pet training skill. Yo, the dog threw up on him. Milestone complete. These teenagers can get out of my house so I can have new babies. All right, we are going to get the cake out, and then she will come make a wish. I would like for you to get a job. I would like for you to get a job as a veterinarian, if that is a thing we can do. We don't have a veterinarian, so let's make her. She can go to work at the circus. Clowns, racquetbats, trained animals. She can go work with the animals. In the circus. She starts at level two. That's great. Now you uh, make a wish and then you're going to get a job. I'm going to have you be a spa specialist. Mid family. There is Gerald and Gerald will be getting Karina and Dominic and Bubblegum. Do a super efficient baby care and then go to sleep. All right, get up. And go get some leftovers. Right, I'm going to have you go get a neighborhood job, please. Go ahead and be a dog walker. Gerald will be right over. All right, we're going to... Can I have some money? Ask to just be friends. Oh, he also doesn't like me at all now? Okay. Goodbye. Go home. And now I can cross him off my list. She needs... She needs a new boyfriend. What if we send her out somewhere let's have her go go to the pub next door and see if there's any men around why are there no men well, that didn't work out i think that's her brother-in-law we can't have a baby with him let's go with elisha rosario discuss some interest and tell a gross joke compliment now we got some romance. Where are you going? Never mind that baby. First kiss.
Do you like what you see? What about a date? Um, no, I don't really want to go on a date, but can I ask you to be my boyfriend? There we go. And then, uh, cry for baby. Mom, I'm busy. I can't even answer the phone right now. Uh, take a pregnancy test, please. Got something to tell you, honey. Yeah, um, can I? Hold on, where are you going? Don't go anywhere. Can I have some money? Six bucks? Get out of my house. You need to collect frogs. It's four in the afternoon. I want you to go off somewhere and collect some frogs for me. Go look for frogs, please. Hey, you found one frog. Are you serious? That's it. Two dig spots, but no frogs. And I don't know why, because there's always frogs. Oh, there's another dig spot. That's something. All right, let's go. We'll go to the park. Go play pirate for a minute. Please. Let there be one more. There is not one more frog. Where am I going to find a frog? Let's uh, look for frogs in the pond a few times. See what we come up with. There we go. Now we can breed a frog. And we've collected our three. Time to go home. Uh, you are hungry. Come get some leftovers. And then you can go to sleep. We can age up the babies now that I noticed this. Gerard. Let's do a super efficient baby care on you. Then we will age up Gerard. All right. Gerard is aged up. Let's potty train Gerard. And then go to the bathroom. You got potty level skill already? Level two? Yeah, he did. All right, Mom, after you go potty, come go ahead and age up this one. This is Houston. And potty train Houston. You need to go to sleep. You know what? Let's actually, since they're both A students, let's give them a summer break for Emery and Forrest. You are also potty level two. Wonderful. You can also go to sleep. Let's serve breakfast. Let's serve omelets. You, you little stinker. Go to sleep. Uh, get up and go to the bathroom. Take a shower. And then we'll have you get another job in the neighborhood. Let's do a paper route today. When you're done, we'll have you go get one more job, please. Let's do a paper route. You just made $25, so that's a thing that happened. Now he just needs to... Let's breed a frog and we'll sell it. We need to get up to 500. Can you harvest the lemons? Actually, can you harvest all? You can harvest those bluebells. There we go. We finished his milestone. Is that everything? Nope. Now he has to earn a thousand, take up five more jobs, 20 more collectibles, dig for treasure, 10 times oh my goodness poor boy there's nothing you can dig for over here harvest all then go fishing why are you angry don't even know oh you're hungry fair enough fair enough grab a serving you also going to be hungry no you're not okay Ooh, let's enroll them in preschool gerard has mastered the mink thinking skill what is he a genius Wait, these babies are going to be aged up very soon at the rate they're going. Dang. You're in a good mood. Come spell words. Wait, is that thinking? Yeah, we don't need that one. We need movement. Oh, communication. Here, come babble. And you need imagination. I don't know what does imagination. Uh, yes. Yes. Mom, why don't you continue writing your book? $800. That's pretty good. You're fine. Get up and go get a job. How are you doing on your skills? Need imagination. Mom, I would like for you to open this and read to the babies, please. You look at that book. You look at that book. You, why are you smelly? Take a shower and get leftovers. Mom, there's not much food around, so I'd like for you to 
serve dinner, chicken stir fry. And then can you get a part-time job this late at night? Yellow this time. Good. He's home. He's gone to bed. And everyone is sleeping. We love to see it. Third trimester, she should have this baby anytime. I'm going to go ahead and get her fresh chef with her reward points so that her food never spoils. Go ahead and, and serve some breakfast. Some pancakes. Okay, my baby's time for school. Mom, put that baby down. He's got school. Forrest, my child. Go get a part-time job, please. Mom, can you come repair that? Time for a paper route. Very nice. I need for you, let's go to the park somewhere. Some world must have some collectibles we can dig up. I mean, if we come over here, I think there's something. Hopefully. Let's do a little fishing. Maybe we'll get somewhere. Maybe we won't. All right, so we've made the thousand. We need more collectibles, meaning we need more digging for treasure. There's no posters to grab. Darn it. Uh, I'm just going to send him home. He's getting hungry. How are your skills, sir? You're good. And you? Also good. Let's, um, age these babies up. How about candles for Gerard? Oh, you're in labor? It's time to go? Shoot. We're having the babies at home today. Would you, Rosario? We are looking for a baby starting with the letter I. Israel. And a girl starting with the letter J. Jacqueline. Jacqueline, would you, Rosario? All right, Mom. Blow candles for Houston. What are you doing? I asked you. The cake spoiled? All right, make another cake. Add birthday candles. Help blow candles for Houston. And then add birthday candles. I need to take these children in. I think I'm going to change her hair. It's been very short for a very long time. Let's see if we can go with something medium. Yeah, let's go with that. Gerard. He has the aspiration of Scoutmaster. He is independent, artistic, oblivious. Favorite color is red. And these are his outfits. Houston. He is a child delinquent. I don't know if I've ever played that aspiration before. So we'll see how that goes. He is ice proof, heroic, and a scribe. His favorite color is brown, and here are his outfits. It is Friday evening. I'm just going to go ahead and make everybody do homework. Get to know roommate, grab something to eat, interact with a fun object, and go to sleep. That is it. Level 2 thinking. Do a super efficient baby care and go to sleep for the night. He acquired thinking skill by sleeping. Okay. And he's finished his aspiration. I mean, we just have to get them to be A students. That is all. Go ahead and collect that arts and crafts badge. Good. We're going to be mean to this poor old man until we're disliked. Darwin Hidalgo. I'm going to shout forbidden words at him. Give him a shove. Imagine thinking I care. Oh. All right, we're just like by two people. We need to pull some more pranks and get to level two mischief. Prank that toilet. Gerard's troop is going to the beach to clean up. Just, just go. You can stop writing and uh, think about thinking. Ponder for inspiration and practice thinking. Can I prank you? Mischief, fake bad news. Why is he leaving? I have to talk to him. Sir, I will chase you down. Sir? <laughs> She's just chasing him down. What's that spot? My last prank, come back. How do I get to level two mischief? I can't as a kid. Gerard is level 10 creativity. Good for Gerard. Ooh, friendly action to give gifts. Okay, we could do that. I would like to shoot. I sold everything. Hold on. Let me go dig up some stuff out of the backyard. Let me 
give you a robot salvage part, you also can have a robot salvage part. Gotcha. I'm going to give you a gift too. I'm going to give you a gunk. Harvest the begonias. And then you can uh, give your brother a friendly gift of a bozonite. Let me give you a begonia. Grab that scout badge. Nice. Grab a serving and then go to bed. Looks like the teenagers are up. Don't they have a birthday? Did I miss their birthday? Oh, it's today. Let's age them up. Age up Israel. All right. Mom, come potty train Israel. Potty train Jacqueline. We're level 10 social. Let's become partners in crime. Oh, no, he's going to scouts. Dang it. Whatever. All right. Mom, quit mopping and repair. Like everything in this house is broken suddenly. Repair. Enroll in preschool. You also will enroll in preschool. Uh, monkey around. And become partners in crime. We're now working on our mischief skill. Get that to level two. <laughs> Believe in giant chickens. They exist, I swear. Cleaning or repair. You know, I'm going to mop that. We can dance and mop and dance. Houston completed his aspiration. Are you an A student or C student? Okay, we got to work on that. Mom, I would like for you to serve dinner. Let's serve camper stew. Babies have put themselves to bed. Wonderful. You, you wrote a book. Can you self-publish? Check those badges again, please. Collect that badge and sleep. And everybody's asleep. All right, what are you working on for skills? Thinking, let's do shapes and make-believe. What? 21.21 for child support payment. And we paid 9.81. Send all students alone. Actively participate. I feel like you want to be disrupted, but I need you to be an A student. So actively participate. Mom is home all alone. Repair that. Resume book K. All right, the kids are home from school. Grades are up for a lot of them. Still a C student. Well, do your homework. You, B student. Okay, well, let's start. You, what are your skills? We are, we need a little more communication. Babble. You need thinking. Amos Duppy. Ooh, do you want to be my next baby daddy? I think you must. You come knocking on my door. Say hello. Tell a story. Knock, knock, joke. Why is everybody coming out here? Really? Yeah, go do your homework over here. Let's give him a flirt. See what happens. Do some makeup. You two. Mental skill number 10 for Gerard. Ooh, collect that good deeds badge. Level 3, level 3. That's what we have to be. At least level 3 in everything. We could age them up. Why don't we serve some dinner? Let's go with fried chicken slider. Do some extra credit, sir. Can you come help with this project? Because it's taking him forever and a day. There we go. He just needed a little bit of helping hand here. Friendly socials. Okay. All right, we're finally all asleep at 4 o'clock in the morning. It was just a baby, though. It's fine. Because I'm going to keep them home tomorrow and age them up. Can I help blow out candles for Israel? Do some homework. What is your ask? I'm friends with two other children. Become friends with two adults. Don't you touch that cake. I swear to Bob, I'll fire you. Add candles. Help blow out candles for Jacqueline. Don't you do it. Nope. Just go. Just go home. I don't need you here. I swear to Bob, I'm going to beat somebody. Yay. Now, do your homework. I'll take you in for a makeover. And we'll be back. So here is Israel. He's creative. And he has the growing up well aspiration. His favorite color is orange. And here are his outfits. Jacqueline is forever fresh. She's a little Einstein. Her favorite color is black. Here are her outfits. All right, the teens are home. Please be A students. Still a C. You're a B. And you're a B. All right, would you guys do your homework? That would be great. I don't care what your mood is like. 
write a short story. Scout badge, or a rabbit. Mastered social skill. All right, three more to go. Ah, yes. We could send him fishing. I don't know where there's fishing to be done. I can never find it in here. Forget it. Just uh, observe the sky. You, take a shower, get some food. What do you want to do for your aspiration? Get a mental skill to level three. Experiment at a chemistry table for three hours. All right. I think we have a chemistry table. Not sure. You want to become friends with adults. It's midnight. Why don't you just go to sleep? All right. I think everybody's sleeping. All right. You're up. Please go take a shower. All right. Please get up and come take a shower. Houston's class is going on a field trip to the art museum. Jared's class is going to the theater. Go on your field trips. That means they're not going to get better in school. Darn it. Quickly come take a shower. You're bored. Oh, well. Send all students alone. Mom's home alone. Mom, you need to call over someone. Who's that guy we had a little friendship with? Came to visit us. Amos Duffy. Come on over. You're a bit of a flirt. First kiss. Asked to be boyfriend. Yibs. All right. Well, now we'll uh, go try for baby. Mm. Oh, Take a pregnancy test. Oh, yeah. We're pregnant. Let's go tell Dad the good news. Can you come out and ask him for some money? Oh, That's not bad. Thank you. All right. Go get some food. Right. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what happened with school, shall we? You are a B student. And you are a B student. You need to be friends with a couple of adults. Any adults running by? Wait, are you an adult, sir? Oh, yeah, you are. Come here. Hello. I want to talk to you. You're like my uncle or something, right? I need to become friends with you, so let's talk about everything. You know what? I'm going to ask you to cloud gaze. You need to read a book. You guys are cloud gazing. Can't even see them. Somebody should mow the lawn. Are we friends yet? Yeah, we are. I mean, can I have some money? Got a nickel? Okay, I gotta go pee. I gotta go. Uh, let's check the board again. You badge progress. Young scientist. Uh, I want to do this then. Gargaze. Mom, did you write book K? You did. Hi, JK. I would like for you to start writing book L. And you... Need to read another book real quick. Mom, when you get up, I would like for you to make some breakfast. Make some French toast. In fact, do it now because your kids are all going to be hungry. Everybody needs to get up. Mom, hurry up. Call to meal. And the kids alone. So we're going to spend the day upgrading. Um, no, I don't want to marry you. Now get out of my house, good sir. Go away. I'm trying to upgrade my bed. Don't need your help. Thank you very much. She's maxed her handiness. How long before baby? She's in her second trimester. Kids are home. Are you an A student? You are not. Sure. Child number four is an A student. Has not quite finished his aspiration. So we need to work on... Observing the sky. You need another adult to be friends with. And you, we need to go to bed. Scout badge earned. Here we go. Collect it. And then maybe I'm going to do some dancing. How many more dancing do I have to do? Dance or exercise. All I can do is dance. Who are you? Eden Bergson. Hello. Did you come for me? One more dancing. Go collect a badge, and then you can go to bed. I need one more, which is the outdoorsy one. And so I need to take him someplace fishing. Clean out spoiled food. It's three in the morning. Go to bed. Take a vacation day from school. You also. Make spinach frittata. Okay. Go ahead. 
Alright, you, I want you to come with me. We have to fish how many times? Fish or find frogs. Six times. Okay. Let's go that way. I would like for you to come look for frogs and then fish. Oh, go home. You have a badge to collect. There we go. Aspiration complete. Let's get that cake out and age up our boys. Make a wish. And you... Make a wish. Let's take the boys into a create a sim. Alrighty, we have Gerard. He is going to be a werewolf initiate. We'll have fun with that. He is independent, savant. His favorite color is red, and here are his outfits. Then we have Houston, who is going to be a best selling author, like his mom. He is untouchable. And I looked at the definition of that. These sims are way too beautiful, which ironically scare their romantic interests and potential friends away. He's also ice proof. And these are his outfits. Definitely a beautiful sim. This one's not going to happen. So let's get him a new aspiration. Let's make him a movie maniac. Just because I've never done that one. He needs to watch comedy or family productions for one hour, watch romance or drama for one hour, and own a TV worth 3,000 simoleons. I mean, we do have a TV, but it ain't worth 3,000. Let's see if we can get a decent TV for him. Shoot, all the good TVs are wall-mountable. I mean, it's not practical. It blocks the windows, but it's what we're going to do. Let's watch the comedy channel brother wants to write two books and then write for an hour while inspired can we get you inspired come take a thoughtful shower he is inspired he needs to write two books so when i'm going to practice writing we're going to go right into writing a children's book mom how you feeling third trimester oh god we got to get these kids out of here Please tell me you're going to be an... Oh, you're going to be an A student? Oh, come on, brother. He's not going to make it. Great. Honor Society. For Emery and Forrest. But Forrest is only a B student. Who broke what? I heard something break. Mom, come repair the toilet. And the sink. Mom, can you come make some food? I'll repair that. Serve dinner. And then you can sleep. Mom is up because she has to pee. Go. Mandy Munch, let's do a friendly introduction to you. Talk about school. Talk about the weather. Colors. You need to write a, uh, read a book. Oh, cool. He made his second friend. And now he has to finish homework while focused. Does he have homework? You have makeup homework. Does that count? Can I get focused? Join the game. Let's call up your dad. Who is your dad? Who's your daddy? McKinley. Caden McKinley. I'd like to hang out. <laughs> hey, Dad. I'd like to talk to you about movies. Mom's going into labor. Let me do this first. There we go. Um, You can go home. Mom, we're going to finish our shower. And then we're going to... And everybody home that doesn't belong here. And have the baby with Amos Duffy. Are you the doctor? You might be. Well then, whatever works, I'd like to check in at the front desk, please. Yep, we have ghost doctor. Cool. This one is going to be Would You Duffy. And the first name is starting with a K and it's a boy. Kane. And a girl, starting with L. Lyric. Lyric, would you duffy? It's going to be mighty crowded for a bit. You know what? It's nice out. They can sleep outside for a day or two. All right. We're going to come in and we're going to do super efficient baby care on one of these babies. And on the other one, we're going to feed. Well, this might be a good place to leave it. Temporarily, we haven't overflowing household we're working through it 
But, you know, if this is a good place to leave it, I'll leave you with those hugs and those cookies. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There are two new videos down below that you can watch. Leave a comment if you'd like. I usually do reply. Hit the like button to share it on your Twitter. I can be found on Twitter and also on Twitch. And above all, have a really great day. Bye-bye.